Y'all, it's New Year's Eve, and it is 5.55. It's 5.55. Don't put my phone on the charger, love. And I say that because as I was shuffling these cars, getting the car, I decided to do a month-by-month -month forecast for the collective uh, 2024 reading. Usually, I do just the Zodiacs, but I was like, I need to do a collective. Y'all, excuse my child. I need to do a collective reading because... It's a lot of energy this year. This is an eight year. So there's a lot of things that are going to change this year due to some of the things that have happened this year. And while I was shuffling, ask me why this fell out. Okay. And I kept it out because I was like, okay, okay, I'm doing a collective reading. And that is the message, the overall message that I want to give me to give to the collective that there is a wake up call. And as I start this read, it's 555. And mind you, I got three other ones up here and it was 554, but this is the only one I got right at 555. So let's get started. Okay. As I've stated, this is a collective reading. This is for everybody. This is for us as a whole collective on this earth to know what energies we're facing in the year 2024 to give us warnings to let us know what uh times we can use to manifest what shifts we're going to be um experiencing during these because there's a lot of uh moon shifts a lot of lunar shifts there's a lot of shifts planetary shifts that we should be very much aware of for the year 2024 first of all pluto is going into aquarius if i'm not mistaken which is great but Okay, so that definitely means that some things are going to change. Okay, all right, so let's get started with this read. As I've stated, I've got it, uh, I got a month by month format. If you guys will want to watch your zodiac's forecast for 2024, that is already on my channel. Uh, actually, tonight is the last night that I'll be taking any uh openings for a 2024 forecast for personal reads but after tonight i still will be doing personal readings i just will not be doing the 2024 forecast excuse my dog he don't like being in his cage because he's spoiled okay so let's get started as i stated wake up call wake up call was the overall message. That was the only card that popped out upright as I was shuffling the cards for these 12 months. So it is a definite message. Um, tsunami, wake up call. It, we might, there might be a major tsunami that hits because I definitely seen um, major, like major deaths, like mass deaths. So there is some sort of event in 2024 that is going to have mass deaths and that's not unheard of literally every year there's usually an event where there's mass a mass amount of deaths but with wake up call this may be something that is orchestrated or this may be something that causes people to kind of become more aware of something okay stop marcus Come put uh, his blanket over there. If he can't see me, then he won't make noise. But if he see me, he going to act the ass. All right, so let's get started with January because I have talked for three minutes. I'm going to let y'all know to fast forward for those of you that don't want to hear me yappering. Shut up and read. Shut up and read. I'm going to say reading starts at four minutes. Yeah. All right, so let's see what we have for January, okay? So the focal point for January, sun, uh, things are going to become clear, happy times, of course, because we're coming into the new year. Everybody's happy when the new year starts. They're happy that they have the opportunity to begin new things. Everybody always starts off the new year like on a good note. So we got the sun, which is a good thing. Um, I feel like in January... Whatever it is, things are exactly as it seems. There may be some new things that are coming in. Um, there may be some revelations. But I feel like overall the energy for January is happy because people feel like they have a new beginning, okay? And you do as long as you feel as if you do. There may be some major message that is um, being given out. It says, angel of expression, speak your truth and express yourself clearly. This is also angelic messages. So there may be a major message that comes out in the month of January 2024. Um, I feel like something will be expressed and it will lead to some sort of joy. 
I'm getting the end of something, maybe the end of a war or the end of something that like something ends and it brings about happiness. People are, are happy. And I feel like it's going to cause now someone could express something and it kind of makes things clear or makes things evident about something. OK, uh, your moon messages. So I pulled the moon cards because there's moon shifts in every month. So I feel like. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to feel taken for granted in the month of January. Your message is that you are good enough. OK, I feel like something is going to be cleaned up with a full moon in Virgo, 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 Virgo. That may be significant, but I feel like with the full moon energy, this is about kind of cleaning up house. So something is going to be straightened out, cleaned up, um, resolved is what I'm getting. Yeah, I, this could have something to do with Mother Earth, okay, with nurturing here. So I feel like someone could make an announcement that they're putting more work into healing Mother Earth, or someone could make an announcement that they're putting more work into healing some sort of catastrophe, okay? Now, guys, this is on a major scale. This is not like on a personal thing, because I'm reading for major energy for the whole collective, something that we all will see. All right, we got... The blessings we have for the month of January, Narada Muni, okay? We have musical ability, knowledge of Vedic literature, mastery of bhakti and devotional yoga, and attachment to the singing of God's name. So I feel like the blessing is that there will be more people in, in resonance with being in tune with the nature of God especially in regards to nurturing Mother Earth. People may become more in tune with Mother Earth. People may become more in tune with their spirituality. People may become more in tune with whatever they resonate with as God. Okay? Shh. Hush. Oh, I'm sorry. He is a big old baby. Um, I feel like, too, there may be some sort of song that is released that is uplifting to the whole world. So someone, a may, an artist may release a song that kind of lifts up the spirit of the whole world, like takes the world by storm. Or maybe somebody's going to make a song about maybe war or about peace or, or something like that. And it's going to like shift the narrative a little bit. I feel like because this is an eight year and eight years are great years in order for manifesting things and changing the world as we know it. So I feel like we're off to a good start in January. I do feel like there's going to be a heavy energy of happiness, of peace, of love, of joy. OK, and you know, the government going to try to fuck that up. But we start off on getting out. All right. So February, let's see what we got here. Two of Pentacles. Whew. So, uh. <laughs> So February, what's around February? Tax time, okay. Um, tax time starts in February, right? Ends in April. So I feel or it may start in January. I don't know. So two of Pentacles here, back and forth, back and forth, on the fence, teetering, up and down type of energy. So there's something that there could be some sort of debate. People could be going back and forth of their beliefs on something. I want to clarify that because this is on a major scale, which means there may be major issues and people could be going back and forth about what they feel is right or wrong. Why is this two of pentacles here? Ten wands here with the strength here, finding the strength to release some sort of burden. So something that brought about a lot of anxiety. You know what I'm getting? And I've been pulling this a lot. I feel like. And I know this sounds like a far stretch, but I feel like because of what's been happening with Palestine and, 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 and with Israel, I feel like the country is going to pull back. And I feel like more support is going to go toward the United States. And I feel like there's an announcement that more support is going to go toward the United States. But I feel like you need to be careful. OK, because come someone's singing a good tune in January, but it's going to make you iffy in February. Because although you're going to, I feel like someone's doing this so that we as a collective can find the strength to release our burdens around the situation. But I feel like it's a tug of war. I feel like it's a trick. So be careful of that. Okay. Um, look at here. 
God of conflict resolution. Someone is trying, I feel like on a major scale, it, it could be the government trying to relieve, trying to relieve the conflict or trying to find a resolution to the conflict between the people of the United States and the U.S. government. And that's what I'm pulling. Um, that's what I'm getting. I feel like because for some of you guys, somebody is going to come up, stand up, speak on something, and it's going to be like the whole world is going to pay attention. So then the government has to kind of resolve some conflicts because they're going to be exposed. They're going to be exposed. Someone might do it through music. Okay. Um, with God of conflict resolution, it says you're being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially for the citizens of the United States, when you see that you're not being respected and your, your government is not putting in the work or resolving the conflicts here on the home front. I feel like we're the United States citizens are going to pull back our support. And that is why there's going to be some sort of resolution because the United States government needs our support in order to survive. And that's just as simple as that. And I feel like on a larger scale, there's going to be a mass number of people that are going to pull their support. And this may be boycotting. This may be um, choosing not to engage. Like everyone may choose not to do their motherfucking taxes. And then the whole system fails. All right. What moon energy do we have? A time to give rather than to take new moon in Virgo. So the full moon in Virgo was the month before. Now new moon in Virgo. I feel like we're taking new steps to kind of clean up our lives, clean up the situation. I feel like the United States citizens are finally standing up. And I feel like the United States government is feeling like, okay, now we have to give to them and not continue to take it for them because they're starting to realize that we fucking them over. Write my words. Full moon completion. So that whatever this current cycle that we're in, this battle that we're in, this tug of war. Yeah, this is this has to do with the government. This tug of war that we're in with the government, it's completing. In the month of February, it's completing. I feel like they're going to make an announcement that they're going to resolve some issues. Maybe um, they could say that they're going to get rid of student debt. That's just going to be a little bit. Because if they can do that, they can do more. So make school free. You know what I'm saying? Make school free. If not, give more grants, give more scholarships, give more, like, help. You feel me? Lower the prices or something like that. So the blessings you have are, this is how, so you're being blessed with a different perspective, collective, okay? And what the blessings are, are power and prestige in society. So I feel like you're going to start to see the power that we have as a collective in regards to our own fate. Um, worldly knowledge, especially of the law. So I'm telling you, somebody's going to expose something and maybe we're, somebody's going to figure out that the United States government is committing fraud or committing a, 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 a unlawful activity by funding the things that they're funding without our consent. I feel like that is a big thing that's going to come about. And I feel like the United States, because this reading is for the collective. So this is what we're doing. I feel like somebody's going to expose some things with that sun card in January. By February, there's going to be a tug of war, a back and forth. The cycle is going to be complete. And I feel like it's because we are learning the law and we're applying the law to those that have applied it to us. Because they are not, they are not, you know, they are not above the law. All right, we got capacity to act as a teacher and a spiritual master and ability to carry out advisory and ministerial duties. I honestly feel like the United States citizens are waking up in the year 2024 and we are finally about to take back control. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're taking our power back. No, it ain't all happening at once because this is a tug of war and it's going to start between January and February. So, And that's usually when it starts because every year around March, I don't know if y'all notice, there's something major that happens in March because of the energy. You got to think that's Aries season. Aries season is all about action, change, war. Okay. So I feel like as a collective, we're going to receive some good news in March. Okay. Something new beginning. Okay, a new offer, a small offer. Your message here, Angel of Joy, and there's something wondrous and magical is about to happen. So I feel like this is going to trickle into something 
I may need to cover it up because they'll block my video. I feel like this is going to trigger, trigger, trickle into something major. I feel like this change in perspective that we're facing as a collective is going to change our lives drastically, but it's going to start as a trickle effect. Okay. Little by little, what we need is going to be provided to us. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah. I feel like more and more people are starting to have faith um, in their ability to change things um, because previously, you know, our our, our ancestors, our parents, our grandparents, they didn't feel like they had the power to change anything. They felt like they just had to do what these motherfuckers told them because they was killing people. You feel what I'm saying? And they still killing people. But we're seeing what they're doing. We're seeing the injustices and we are taking a stand. And I feel like the 2024 year, this eight year is where the shoe is on. The, I don't feel like I'm not going to say the shoe is on the feet because I don't feel like we're going to do to them what they do to us. But we're taking our power back. So I feel like the tables are going to turn. Okay. And it's going to be effortless because we're going to stand together effortless. Okay. So things are going to start to flow effortlessly for us. I feel like there's also going to be something dealing with the waterfall. Something major dealing with the waterfall. I don't know if something's drying up. Less water. Less water falling. We could have a a, a rain, uh, like a, not no rain, like uh, maybe record days with no rain or something like that. And it could start in March, or it could rain a lot because March is that's like that's the beginning of spring. April is the beginning of spring, so that's like going into spring. So we could have like excessive water, excessive rain. It's either going to be excessive rain or there's going to be no rain. It's one or the other. I don't know if it's going to be here in the United States, but maybe this is something like on a newscast. Like maybe someone's going to be like, uh, Turkey had 30 days, 45 days, no rain, a record for that area or something like that. I don't, I don't know why I picked Turkey. That's just what the fuck popped up in my head. Uh, or it still could be something about a waterfall in March. All right. So we have blessings here. The blessings we have for March receiving charity. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of natural disaster dealing with the water in March. And there's going to be some sort of charity or some sort of aid towards some people in March. Um, resisting cheats and tricksters. Some things may be exposed, especially if someone is using this as a way to embezzle money or something. Being charitable in the right spirit, okay, and ability to use trickery for good. So someone could find out that someone's embezzling and take that money to aid someone or a country or a city or something that has been either damaged by excessive water or water falling or mudslides or something like that. Or someone's going to receive water as charity um, due to a lack of water in their community, in their city, in their state or something like that. Let's see what we got for April. Okay. War. War. Five of Swords. A battle. May not be all out war, but a battle on the water. A battle about water because water was in April. I mean, water was in March. So there could be some sort of conflict about water, battle about water. Um... Someone could be lying because that trickster and cheats dealing with that water. There's something dealing with water between April, March and April. And I'll still say April and May. So it may even go on into May. Um, someone's going to walk away from something. It could be like a community walking away from their neighborhood, maybe because they no longer have running water or something like that, or it's not safe to live or not safe to drink, or maybe some water is going to come up into a neighborhood and destroy a neighborhood. So people are going to have to relocate. There's a lot of people that may feel lost, abandoned. Um, there's someone here with this, someone's behind it. I know that sounds crazy um, because you're thinking water, that's natural disaster, but someone's behind it. Maybe, um, faulty dams or something like that. Someone's responsible. Maybe they were embezzling money, not putting the right money, using the right materials or something like that. I'm just shooting shit out there because it could be any number of situations, but the main energy is there's some conflict and I see water. So I don't know if this is conflict on the water, conflict about the water or conflict um, due to, I don't know. I feel like there's going to be some battle either about water or on the water. 
or a lack of water or excessive water or something like that. And we got more water here. All right. And this is during the rainy season. So maybe there's like excessive water. Maybe someone's going to get like flushed out of their city or, or their town or something. With Angel of Pleasure, it says take pleasure in the things you do. Okay. So I know this is sounding going to sound heartless. Okay. And, and the reason why I'm saying this, because with this here, this is a trickster. Okay. This is a trickster. You know how I said that previously the government is going to like give something to kind of balance out a situation. They could come back around and create a catastrophe to take that back. Okay. So where they may give money now, all of a sudden there's a town that doesn't have any water or there's a drought of water or the water is undrinkable. So now you're having to spend all the money you just got from the government to go and put water in your home to live. You're being told to focus on pleasure. So maybe not so much pay attention to the news articles because they could be lying. You feel me? It could be something that's saying like, oh, uh, possible contamination of the water, da, 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 da. And there's not actually a contamination, but that's the news article that's being put out to defer you from actually using the water and going to buy water so that you can use your resources and put it back into the pockets of those greedy tricksters. So be careful within April and May. Okay. Don't focus on any news articles, even if they're saying like there was a, a, a town that drowned out the town. Maybe the town, it may be a little town that don't have a lot of people there. And they're like, they don't even know what the fuck going on. They're just chilling in their houses. There is no catastrophe. But you're being told it's a catastrophe so that you can run out and and feed into the narrative and give them what it is that they desire. I feel like someone here is playing a tricky uh, game, playing mind games. Okay. Trying to create conflict, mental confliction. It's an age-old game. All right. Show the world the real you. Yeah, well, and you know what's crazy? If someone is doing this, they're going to be exposed. That's why you're being told to focus on pleasure. They're going to be exposed right in here. I'm trying to tell you. They're going to be exposed by the summertime. So whoever this trickster is, this might be the CEO of a company. Could be the CEO of a water company that's using a catastrophe to sell their water. You feel me? Pushing a certain narrative just so they can run up their stocks or some shit like that. They're going to be exposed. OK, so don't focus on the downsides. Look past that. Focus on the pleasures of living your life. Whatever you have for the moment, use that for the moment. Don't go out and, and, and buy extra shit or do extra shit or prepare for extra shit because they're just pushed in there to, to scare you, to invoke fear. <coughs> You're mm, I'm trying to tell you. I don't know the, the exact scenario, but here, one of the blessings is protection from snakes. Some of you, it's like collectively we're dealing with a trickster, someone that is trying to trick us, that is trying to either play mind games in order to invoke us to do certain things or literally trick us into doing things that we wouldn't normally do um, in order for you to devote your time, your energy into them. Because devotion to God here, I feel like someone is trying to play God and it has something to do with the water. OK, we got security while traveling and improved ability to serve God. I feel like as long as you focus on pleasure, stay faithful, stay faithful. Don't give in to all the shit that you see. Stay faithful and, and, and just keep staying focused on God. You're going to see past the bullshit because it's going to be exposed. OK. All right. What do we have for May? We have the nine of cups. Joy, happiness, wish fulfillment, okay? That could also be party, Cinco de Mayo. So it could be a worldwide Cinco de Mayo event. Like everybody could choose to just ball all out for Cinco de Mayo because it's that's usually what happens in May. It's a lot of, it's a lot of cups here. So there's a lot of drinking, okay? So there's, there also could be something significant this year about Cinco de Mayo. Um, I don't know if something major is going to happen on that day. Someone could be trying to be greedy. Okay. Angel of self-worth. You're currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. So I feel like whatever happens in April, this trickster is going to cause a lot of people to start to second guess themselves, start to second guess their priorities. Um, I feel like you need to be in the space of having material happiness, enjoying your life. This is what we need to focus on. Okay. Because we got a wake up call and the wake up call is, it's going to be a lot of things that are going to be exposed and they are being exposed because there's some 
people that have been taken are some beings that have been taking advantage of us, um, harvesting our energy, manipulating us. So you're in the space now of having a wake up call so that you can see these things and you can adjust accordingly. What do you need to release? I thought I'd be talking about. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this lack of self-worth that we have as a collective, meaning we allow these people to come in and play tricks on us and play with our minds and give into all the bullshit that they're pushing, the agendas that they're pushing, because we don't feel like we can do this without them. I feel like that's going to change. I feel like that is one of the things that we as a collective are going to release. Okay. What y'all see? What do y'all see? I can't make this shit up. I can't, if I wanted to, I can't make this shit up. These are two different days. These are two different fucking days. So I feel like by autumn, whatever this energy is that you're dealing with is going to be released. And this is the, right now, April is spring, May is spring. We're going into the summertime. So it might be some stuff happening in the summertime in order for some stuff to be released by the fall equinox. Blessings we have for May. Patience and fortitude, ability to serve with humility, physical and mental strength, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ability to adjust to various circumstances. So I feel like because of the trick tricking, the stuff that is the underhanded shit that is going to be done between April and May. And I feel like it's dealing with water. If it's not dealing with water, it's dealing with waters, like with the seas. OK, so maybe there's something major happening in the waters, um, especially around this time, spring, summertime. Because people are all, a lot of people are out on the water, a lot of people are vacationing. There's something significant happening with the waters or on the waters or something. It may be dealing with a cruise, a ship, uh, maybe like uh, animal life or something like that. Whatever the case may be, someone here used something to trick, to mentally or to manipulate people on a mental level. I feel like it's going to be exposed by April, by May, someone is going to, I feel like as a collective, we're going to realize that either there's someone that we need to release. Maybe, maybe this is like someone in office that has to be released or a CEO that needs to be taken down and, and charges need to be pressed or something like that. Whatever the case may be, by autumn, this will be resolved, but it's definitely in full effect between March, April, and May in the springtime. What do we have in June? Okay, so we have the six of pentacles here. So giving back, I feel like whatever was taken from you by this cheat, whatever was taken from us by this cheat is going to be given back to us. I feel like things are going to start to kind of become reciprocal. Okay, um, and that I say this all the time and I've been saying this since I've been reading. The relationship that the United States citizens have with the United States government is a codependent relationship. We are empaths. They are fucking narcissists. This narcissist empath, um, um, what is it called? Peridium. Is that how you say it? Paradigm? Paradigm? Paradigm. I always fuck up that word, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, that relationship is what we have with our U.S. United States government. This is the year that we're going to wake up and realize we got to fucking balance this shit out or end it start over from scratch get all new just put them all out get, get all new whatever the case may be this is the year this is the year so angel of psychic protection what you believe you create no one can harm you so i definitely feel like you're uh, as a collective we're starting to realize they have no control the only thing, the only way that they have control over us is if we believe they have control over us and they are aware of that, which is why they make dumbass laws and try to enforce them with no actual enforcement. Um, especially they did that, uh, that, uh, no boycotting law. How, how, how the fuck are you going to mandate that? How are you going to enforce that? How are you, you going to come in my house and force me to go? No. So I feel like the citizens of the United States are finally realizing, and it could be of the world. It's just not of the United States because this is a collective reading and the rest of the world is collective as well. So I feel like we as a collective are realizing that nothing can harm us unless we believe that it can. So that's why things are balancing out. That's why we have this even give and take now because we're like, hey, we don't agree. So either you give us what the fuck we want or you get the fuck out of office, period. What are you talking about? Like, are we going to do it ourselves? What the fuck you mean? All right. 
So nothing will come of this situation. Some of you guys, I do feel like you're realizing that whatever this, I feel like whatever this situation that we've been dealing with over the past couple of months, you're going to realize they may be trying to scare us. They may be trying to take from us. They, we're not doing it. Okay. We're not doing it. Nothing, especially if say for instance, I said, um, there could be some boycotting that's happening and they may try to enforce it. Nothing is going to come from it. They could, they could even take a lot of people into custody and try to arrest them. Nothing will come from it because you cannot enforce that law. That is against my will. Okay? That is against my natural human rights. Fuck the rights that y'all tried to give me. That is against my natural human rights. You cannot force me to do anything against my will. Period. Mm, period. Or it's you or me. And I choose me. All right. So I feel like this... Whatever this happens, this is going to activate change. The winds, the winds of change have been activated for the citizens of the United States. And I feel like this is going to happen in June. But it's from, from March. Shit, something's going to happen in March. Something's going to happen in March. It's like they're going to try to do something to make us happy in March and then turn right back around in April and like try to destroy it to take it all back. But we're, we see, we're not oblivious anymore. We see. So now it's like, no, fuck that. You're not going to do this again. We, the tables are turning. We are standing up for what we believe is right. And that's not right. <clears throat> the, um, yep. So some of you guys, there could be some sort of, uh, I know this sounds crazy. Could be playing with the weather. Someone could be playing with the weather. Because even with these, I'm looking at these two cards here. With this wind of activation, you see how the cold and the hot weather, this could be a, a tornado, a hurricane. That's definitely hurricane type shit. Uh, in June, I feel like that's hurricane season. So there could be like a major hurricane, a tsunami, an earthquake, something dealing with the wind. And I feel like because someone was playing with the weather, they're either saying that something is worse than what it is and it's not. Like they could warn you that there's a hurricane coming, it's category five, it's gonna destroy everything when in actuality it's a tropical storm and it really isn't gonna destroy anything. And I feel like because people don't feed into it, the first blessing we have is protection against natural disasters. Okay, you see that? protection against natural disasters, okay? Security for seafarers. I'm telling y'all, is something going on with the water? I'm sorry. It's something going on with the water. There is something going on with the water. Because I keep getting this. Uh, security for sea travelers, uh, security for seafarers and travelers, and preserving ancient traditions and knowledge. I feel like for a lot of you guys, or I feel like for the whole collective, there's something dealing with the water that's going to be affecting us all. I don't know if this is going to be uh, some sort of pollution to the water, poison in the water, uh, a war about water on the water, something like that. I mean, water is a natural resource, and it would make sense that they would try to attack our water. But I feel like we're protected. Um, Protected against these entities, these high priests that are in the government, because they they're definitely high priests. Um, I feel like for for us as a collective, we may not know the full extent of everything that's going on, but there's a change that's happening. Six months in is when it's activating. Okay, everything up to it, we're gonna have a lot of shit. Looks like from February to. May, a lot of shit that's going to be like pushing our face, pushing our face, pushing our face. And I feel like it's to invoke fear. I'm not saying that they're not doing anything. I feel like they were 100% doing shit, but it's mostly trying to invoke fear. And I feel like once we realize what they're doing and we realize that they actually can't do anything to us, they can't hurt us, they can't take away our natural resources, no matter how much they try to destroy the earth always repairs. Mother Earth is all. It's a, Mother Earth is a self-repairing system. So they may try to pollute the water. They may try to pollute the ground. Eventually, Mother Earth will repair and become new again. And I feel like we're going to start realizing, like, no matter what y'all try to do to take away our lives, our livelihood, we as well as Mother Earth will constantly repair, will constantly evolve, will constantly change. And I feel like this year is the year that we're going to have that wake-up call that makes us go, you know what? We need to take our power back because y'all are abusing your power. This is the year. 
All right, what do we have for July? Okay, I don't know if this is a bone or lightning striking or something, but I felt a lot of tension in my head as I said July. Okay, so let's, whew. Mohini Murti. This definitely has something to do, this may be, So nine of ones, I don't know if this is going to be have to do with uh, like a mass uh, killing or a death or like a major death, maybe of a um, of a uh, prime minister, of a president, uh, someone very influential fighting for their life, fighting for their energy. Us as a collective, we're this is uh this is battle. We've been through some sort of battle as a collective, and I feel like we've overcame it because the nine of ones means that you've overcome the energy that you've you know mastered it. But that don't mean you ain't beaten, battered, and bruised because this motherfucker beaten, battered, and bruised like he barely made it out that motherfucker. You feel me? So I feel like there could be some sort of catastrophe. Especially with the previous month, um, protection against natural disasters. There may be some major natural disaster where, and they may say they may say that there's massive deaths, but in actuality, there's a lot more survivors. There, there may be some catastrophes. I'm not saying that there isn't, but I feel like the number of catastrophes is a lot lower than what we're being told, and that's because they're trying to invoke fear. Especially if this is something that's reoccurring, maybe there's a volcano that's erupting and it's like continuously erupting or something like that. Angel of communication, communicate clearly, don't be afraid to set it like it is. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, or for, for, I keep saying a lot of you guys, but this is for us. This is a collective reading, but maybe it is for a specific set of people, maybe some people that had to go through this and survive it. I feel like you're going to have to tell your story and the story that you tell is not going to correlate with the story that has been told. And I feel like it has to come out. So whoever I'm speaking to that goes through this and you survive because the nine of ones is surviving. You survive. You may be battered and bruised. I'm not telling you you ain't hurt, but you survive. You need to speak your story, especially if you know that it's nothing like what is being told. OK, maybe someone maybe they say that a volcano wrote the really people were bombed or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah. So I feel like I feel chills. I feel like with that wake up call and with these, this as a collective, we're going to overcome something very hard. Okay. Something very, I'm going to just say hard. Um, I don't want to say heartbreak because I don't see heartbreak, but hard. Um, I feel like it's, it takes a lot for us to like we battle a lot. It takes a lot for us to get to where we're going. And I feel like that's freeing ourselves from some sort of restriction or I don't want to say moving away, but washing away something, clearing away something, fire. I said a volcano erupting. And 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 and, and if there is a news story about a volcano erupting. You see how they're throwing the fire? The volcano didn't erupt. Someone threw fire. Someone bombed a place or, or actually set a place on fire. There was no eruption of a, of a volcano. Now they may, they may make the volcano erupt. They may put some shit in the volcano to make it, you know, bubble up or some shit. I don't know if they can get up there. Maybe they can drop it out the air. I don't know how any of that works because to me it's impossible, but I'm, if they can look inside, because they've looked inside, if they got planes, they can look inside of it. I'm sure they got planes they can drop shit down in it. So if there is a news article or, or a news story that's covered in the month of July about a fire, about a, vo a volcano erupting, it's a lie. OK, something has been set ablaze. So there is a bomb or something that has been dropped. OK, the blessings. Um, and the only reason why. I keep breathing like that. Mohini Morty, I don't think he has anything to do. Let me see. I don't think he... Mm. 
Yeah, he don't have anything to do with uh yeah, he do. Taste of the nectar of immortality, ability to not be overcome by sexual guile, perception to see through. Yeah. So I feel like if someone's gonna lie about a natural disaster, the truth, especially in June, there could be this major natural disaster, okay? And I feel like it's gonna be natural disaster because they're trying to fuck with our head. In June, there could be some major natural disaster or, or a mass like catastrophe or a catastrophe that takes out a lot of people or something like that. By uh, July, you're gonna see through the bullshit, and and someone's gonna call, someone's gonna call bullshit. I'm like, no, that did not happen, and I feel like it's because the people that were involved in it are gonna speak up and be like, this is not what happened. We were not. There is nothing that erupted. We were bombed. That's what I'm getting at. And I may I may be overreaching. It may not actually be that situation, but it's definitely going to be something to where w us as a collective are going to see through the tricks and, 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 and the lies and the trickery that has been pushed, the agenda that's been pushed, okay? Knowledge of when it's appropriate to give preferential treatment. And, and it may be, especially with that too, it may be that there is, you know how when that thing happened in Maui and you had all these celebrities that were like, oh, pray for Maui, da 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 and then they were over there buying up all their shit. It could definitely be something like that. Like, oh, you're, you guys did that for you. You guys killed all these people for you. Not because it was a natural disaster, because you guys planned to do this. And maybe the truth about Maui is coming out. But I kept going because muerte or they yeah, have muerte in Spanish. Muerte is death. And this is in July. And I see for some of you guys, it, you can also hear about like a firework incident, a major firework incident. But regardless, I feel like there's going to be like a lot of death due to fire. So you got catastrophes dealing with water in April and catastrophes dealing with fire I feel like I call it bullshit. I'm not saying that catastrophes happen. We are 100% aware of that. But I feel like there's an agenda that's being pushed because on both of these months, on both of these months, you're talking about snakes and tricksters. I call it bullshit. Okay, let's see what we got for August. We have the hermit here. So I feel like for some, for, not for say for some of you guys, this is in August. This is Leo's. I mean, this is uh, the end of August is Virgo season, and this is the Virgo. So there's something significant happening in Virgo season. Being guided, a guru. There could be a guru that's shedding some light on something. There's a guru that's shedding light. Angel of guidance. What I tell you? There's a guru that's shedding light. It says a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. So there could be some guru that is coming in... Uh, August around Virgo season someone here that has knowledge someone here that has light the answers you need and they have answers full moon and Gemini this person could have a moon in Gemini or they could have like a rising or something in Gemini the end this is two people I feel like this is either a woman and a man or twins or something like that someone's gonna have the answers that as a collective, we seek, and they're giving you some sort of new promise. You need to be careful. You need to be careful. Because someone's going to give you a promise. A new guru is going to give you a promise. Or maybe a promise that things are going to get better. A promise that if you follow them, then you'll be saved from all these natural disasters. It's part of the agenda, okay? For some of you guys, there's three different, there's four different people here. So I do feel that there's an actual, because the, the hermit here is an actual guru rising, um, showing you the way. And even you have, there's multiple, there's a man and a woman here. But then you have these other two, and I feel like they're false gurus that are coming with some sort of promise. Because you see how you got the new moon and the two people in the moon. These people are coming with a promise, but their promise is an illusion. Adherence to the truth, keeping on, they can't keep their word. I feel like someone here is using, so they could be kind of coattailing off of these two. There's two major gurus that are popping up on the scene. And they, I'm not saying that they're new, but I'm saying that maybe they're receiving some sort of uh, acknowledgement for what they do. There's two that are real, and then there's two that aren't. 
There's two that are real and two that are false. The two that are false are making promises. The two that are real are not making promises. They're literally giving you guidance. They're giving you um, knowledge. They're telling you things, but they aren't making any promises. The two that are false are making promises that they cannot keep. So the two that are false may be reiterating the same information of real gurus, the real guides, but they're like, oh, well, if you follow us, then we can help you. No, they can't because it's not about following anyone. It's about identifying what you see in them within yourself. Okay. It's about identifying the guru within, not following. You don't follow anyone. You identify the traits that they have that are within you as well. And you utilize those within yourself to guide you. Okay. That's what a healer does. A healer doesn't directly heal you. A healer helps you to identify the healer within you so that you can heal yourself. All right. Obedience is as a virtue. And these, these two may tell you to be obedient to them. They're false. Okay. So let's see what we have for August. I mean, for September. Yeah. So we have Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like there's going to be some sort of solid offer that's coming in September. Okay. Um, this has to do with finances. So maybe you're, we're going to be granted with some sort of offer, maybe from the government, maybe from a country or something that seems solid. Knight of Pentacles seems solid, but it, it may take a long time to come into effect. Take the time to do some reflection before you, it may, what is it? August is, mm, August is election. August is election. There is a false something, prophet, guy, maybe even a, uh, uh, Someone coming in that's taking office may be full of shit, making promises that they cannot keep. Because August is election, and I feel like by September, you're going to be reflecting as a collective. We're going to be reflecting on the decisions that we've made. OK, the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. For some of you, you're going to be looking to these guys, to the to these gurus, and you're going to realize it's going to go off in your head. I see this in them because this is something that I possess as well. I tell people all the time, me reading, yes, I'm very good at what I do. But if you see that I'm good at what I do and you are like, oh, she's so good, that's because you have the ability to see as well. You're seeing what I'm seeing. I'm just, all I do is tap into your energy and tell y'all what's going on in your energy. You know what the fuck going on in your energy for I do. It's the truth. That's why I teach people because you have the same abilities I do. The only difference is I'm more open to using them because I trust myself. I trust the universe because of the evidence. I see evidence of a divine presence. So why would I second guess it? And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to see evidence of a divine presence through these guys, through these gurus. You're going to see evidence of divine of divinity and you're going to be like, oh, this is real. So you yourself are going to embrace the divinity within you. All right. So we have nothing is yet set in stone. So even with this, I feel like this has to do with this election because this is an election, an election year. And I feel like even in September, nothing's set in stone because it could still there could still be a backtrack. I feel like there's going to be some sort of falseness. Someone could lie about the ballots or something like that, uh, could make promises, whatever the case may be. I feel like nothing is set in stone. I feel like there's going to be a shift, a change. There's going to be a change. So I don't know if someone's going to lose their position in office or, or it could be because I read that there was an official that was going to die or something like that. So it could be that one of the people that are running for office has an untimely death and someone else has to take their place. And like because of that, it's going to be like, no, we need a we need a reelection or we need more time because we don't know who they are. You know what I'm saying? All right. Celebration. There's going to be some sort of celebration. So I feel like, ooh, with nothing set in stone and celebration, I feel like we can't celebrate too quickly, okay? Because, and we may want these people, these new people that we don't know to come in, and two people, so that's president and vice president. We might have these two people come in that we don't know and maybe celebrate, oh, we got rid of such and such because they were horrible. We don't know these motherfuckers either, and nothing is set in stone. So while we may be celebrating, I feel like they're making plans, and it's going to affect us. All right. 
The blessings we have as a collective, protection and loyalty, brotherly love and service, spiritual and moral strength, and freedom from the evils and intoxication. So we feel like we've been freed from the evils of what we've had to deal with within our government system from August. This has to do with an election. If not, it may have to do with uh, some sort of world leadership. Nothing set in stone, but there may be some sort of celebration, maybe feeling like we won and there's not going to be like a one world order or something. Because for October, there's a lot of confusion with the collectives. We got a lot of things we got to go through. We got a lot of options. And it could be right as someone is elected, they pass away and then the vice president has to come and take their position and there has to be a new vice president. So now we're like back in the shits. And we may not agree with their vice president becoming president. God of indulgence. Ooh. So October, maybe maybe because it's Halloween. I don't know. But this is not a good sign. We got all these cups, all these different ob objects. And God of indulgence. This is like someone taking advantage of a position. It's time to release negativity. Uh, someone could be taken advantage of, and this is during Scorpio season. We got full moon in Scorpio, so that is the end. The full moon in Scorpio is not what is that? That's in Taurus season, but maybe something that happened in Taurus season is coming to a close. And I, I got that. Look, in Taurus season we have the. Oh, I can't make this shit up. Ah! In Taurus season, we got the autumn equinox, which was released. And I said around the fall equinox. We're in October. When is the fall equinox? In October. Correct? Or is it November? No, it's in October because December is the winter solstice. So, or is it in August? It may be in August. I don't have my fucking phone. It's between August and October. That's all I know. But I feel like it's in October because doesn't fall start in October? August is still summer. So <laughs> this is definitely full moon in Scorpio. Okay? Because Scorpio is fall season. And here we have the same thing. It's time to release negativity. So something that happened. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Something that happened in May is going to come to a close, come full circle by October. October. I kept saying August, but it's October. Um, and I feel like there's something new that is being created. I feel like it's going to be very chaotic, though. Um, it's going to feel like the world's going to feel like a dream in October. And not a good one. Because even though dream time is here with creation, this shit looks scary. This shit looks scary. This shit looks scary. Look at that. That's trumpets playing. That shit coming out of the sky. This shit looks scary. This, this shit looks scary. So all I'm going to say, yeah, okay. We got for the blessings we have are fertility of the land, expansion of growth, profusion of natural resources, and protection of the natural environment. I feel like we're going to create a new world for ourselves. Not a new world order, but a new world for ourselves. We're creating something new. And at first, it's going to be chaotic and it's going to be scary because everything is going to be all over the fucking place. <laughs> This is going to be a very interesting year. Let's see what we have for November. Happy, happy, joy, joy. The end of a relationship, though. So I feel like someone's saying farewell. A well-known family could be saying farewell. The end of a relationship. I don't know why I got Obama. So I don't know if they're leaving the United States. Ooh, they made that movie. They may be. <laughs> <laughs> they may be leaving they may be going because they made that movie and you know they put everything in movies and i got obama so there's a family that's deporting that's deporting maybe being deported or departing in some way i don't want to say a death i don't want to say a death but i feel like they're leaving okay we have angel of healing the angels have felt your sadness and have shown so the collective is going to be sad about this. Now, this could be a major family, like a whole family, a major family that departs. And there's a lot of sadness. As a collective, we feel a lot of sadness for this. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. So I feel like uh, I 
I feel like whatever this is, I don't want. I don't think it's a death, but I feel like so, there's a lot of sadness about what's happening. But I feel like for us as a collective, it's a win-win for us. I know that sounds heartless, but some some way maybe they're leaving, and and it, the world's gonna be better for us because of it. Or maybe it could be something. And I let me see how I can word this where I don't sound like an asshole. Everything happens for a reason. So maybe there's a family uh, catastrophe or a family event that like, it could be something like maybe there's an injustice and a whole family is like murdered or, or executed or something like that. And someone has to answer for it. And we as a collective are forcing these people to answer for what has been done. So a win-win outcome is forecast, but there's still sadness around this. I don't feel like people are celebrating their death at all because there's, in order for an angel of healing to show up on a collective level, that means on a collective level, there's sadness. So there may be a major sadness across the world because of this family's untimely demise or something like that. But we are making the people that are responsible be held accountable. So it's a win-win for us, okay? And it brings harmony into the world. It brings harmony to us. So I feel like something definitely brings harmony to us. The blessings we have, purification of the blood, nourishment of the crops, subduing mental ills and overcoming pessimism and madness. Whatever this is, I feel like this event brings a lot of madness to the world and major healing is going to happen that is going to bring us back into harmony. And this may be something that's set up to kind of create hysteria or create issues amongst us. And we're like, no. We're not doing this again. You will be held accountable for your actions. That's what I'm getting. Okay. All right. So let's see what we have for December. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is making good decisions, becoming self-sufficient. Maybe we as a collective are starting to see our value. A wake up call. This year may be the wake up call. All this shit that's happening, all these tricksters and cheats that are trying to do things to take advantage of us, to take our money, to keep us um, in low vibration or keep us restricted. I feel like waking up, making changes, taking our power back. And now for December 2024, we see our value and we're making we see our value and we're sitting on our value. We're making better decisions for ourselves. Queen of Pentacles. OK. We have the angel. Yeah. So I feel like as a collective, we decided to let go and let God. Like, oh, you say we don't have no water? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll drink soda. The fuck? <laughs> it's some water there. Uh -huh. So angel of relaxation, let go of desired outcomes and you'll get what you want. And I feel like as a collective, we're just going to let go of our desired outcomes and we're going to let whatever happens happen. Okay, because we see our value. And it may be that we see, even maybe, especially with the Queen of Pentacles and the Pentacle being in her lap right here, we may see that we have the buying power. We may see that without us, the system would fail to exist. So we're like, do what you will. You want to raise the price, it's fine. I'm going to keep my money. Let's see how that goes for you. You either get a little money or no money. Okay. <laughs> so we got a fiery climax approaches, full moon and Aries. Mm. So... I do feel like for a lot of you guys and for a, the full collective, this is the end and it may be fiery. It may, it may be like a civil war, civil unrest, whatever the case may be. But I feel like the climax to whatever we've had to deal with for the year 2024 approaches in December going into the new year. I feel like as a collective, we're like all the bullshit. We're not doing it again. This is it. Okay. The time is now more compassion, more love. Y'all, this is the most beautiful card you can get for a collective reading compassion for your fellow your fellow person things are changing we're making better decisions for us because we see the value of us and it may be us coming together no matter what color what what state what 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 you believe your religious belief no, none of that's going to matter we're coming together as human beings because we have compassion for each other for our fellow man all right so the blessings we have, perfection and parental love, protection of one's children. So again, there may be, this This is why this is a win-win outcome. This situation may be very, I don't know what it is, okay? So I can't tell you what it is, but this may be very catas like, catastrophic, okay? And it may be, it may not even, it may be just children, because this definitely looks like they're saying bye to their children. This may be dealing with the children. We may stand together and be like, we have to protect our children because of what has been done to them. 
So we're now having more compassion for not only our children, but for each other, because we feel like we deserve to be protected. All right. Fertility and the well-being of newborns and devotion to Krishna and those closest to him. And, you know, it may be exposed why there is a drop in, in, in childbirth now, because I feel like because of all the chemicals that have been put in the food and the water and stuff, it's causing infertility. Maybe even those, you know, causing infertility. Things are going to come out in the year 2024 and it's going to be a wake up call to the entire world. And this is going to shift the narrative. OK, so I feel like we're moving into a better time, a, a more prosperous and more beautiful time for the collective. But in order for us to get to that, we got to go through this shit. So buckle up. This is all I have, y'all. Until next time. See y'all in 2024.